let's understand how to extract strings from main string using substring function in PySpark. If we are processing fixed length columns, then we use substring to extract the information. Here are some of the examples for fixed length columns and the use cases for which we typically extract information. Nine digit social security number, we typically extract last four digits and provide it to the televerification applications or IVR applications. 16 digit credit card number, we typically use first four digit number to identify credit card provider and last four digits for the purpose of televerification. Data coming from mainframe systems are quite often fixed length we might have to extract the information and store in multiple columns. Even in those scenarios, we can effectively use substring to extract the information we are looking from from the data that is generated by mainframes related applications. Substring function takes three arguments, column, position, and length. We can also provide position from the end by passing negative value. Let's get into the details so that you understand how the syntax look like. First, I am creating an object by name spark of type spark session. Let me run this code so that the spark session object is created. Before getting into creating the data frames, let's explore uh, the traditional way of extracting substrings uh, from the main string using Python as programming language. In this case, I am creating a variable by name s. Yes. It is of type string and it contains hello world. I can extract first five characters uh, from the string using this syntax. I just have to say yes in square brackets colon 5 or 0 colon 5. Uh, we don't need to explicitly specify 0 if we are trying to extract the information from the beginning. It will give hello for us. Then we can actually extract three characters starting from second character till fourth character using this notation. The first argument is nothing but index and the index starts with zero, which means in this case we are trying to extract information from E, which is nothing but second character in our string. And then column four means it is nothing but the substring which you want to consider. In this case, I'm trying to extract from the second character till the end of this substring. You can run this and you should be able to see the three characters here, which are nothing but these three. So one column four means uh, starting from second character up to the fourth character from the beginning. That's how we should be able to extract the information we are looking for from the main string using Python as programming language. Now let's create the data frame using this list with uh, schema as dummy and string. So we have created a data frame with one column. The column name is dummy. It contain only one record that is nothing but X. We can use substring function to extract substring from main string using PySpark and hence let's import substring. I'm also importing lit. You will understand why I am importing lit at a later point in time. The function takes three arguments. The first argument is a column from which we want to extract substring. The second argument is the character from which string is supposed to be extracted. And the third argument is number of characters from the first argument. It is different from the Python based approach to extract the substrings from the main string. It is similar to SQL substring function. If you are familiar with the SQL, there is a substring function in uh, SQL. The substring functionality within Python Spark is similar to SQL related substring, not the Python related substring. Make sure you understand the difference. Let's see examples so that you go through the details and you should be able to relate to Python based approach and understand the difference as well. In this case, I'm actually using hello world as it is literal as I want to convert into a column so that uh, I can use it uh, with a substring. I'm actually using lit function here and passing uh, hello world to it. It will actually convert uh, it as a traditional uh, uh, data frame column. And then I'm using substring on top of it. Then I'm saying seven comma five. So it will actually start from seventh character, which is nothing but W. And I'm trying to get five characters from the seventh character and hence we should be seeing world when we run this piece of code. Let's run this and we should be able to see the output here. You can see world as output. You can see here. You can also use this notation to extract last five characters. You just have to say minus five comma five. It will just uh, uh, get the last five characters uh, for us. So if you want to extract any information from the end, one of the way is to use uh, negative values like this so that uh, we can actually extract information from the end. Let's run this and see the output. It also returns world as output. Now let's perform few tasks to extract information from fixed length strings. Uh, we'll be creating a list for employees with name, SSN and phone number. Uh, SSN format is nothing but uh, three digits, then space, then two digits, then space, then four digits. It is nothing but fixed length with 11 characters, nine digits and then two spaces in between. Phone number format is nothing but uh, this one. So country code is variable and remaining phone number have 10 digits. Country code is one, two, three digits. Then area code is three digits. Phone number prefix is three digits. Phone number remaining is four digits. All the four parts are separated by spaces. You can see example for a phone number. This is uh, with respect to Indian number. This is with respect to US number. You can see that country code is variable.
we'll create a data frame with column names uh, name ssn and phone number using uh, uh, this uh, data and then we'll extract last four digits from the phone number and also we'll extract last four digits from ssn we have additional fields as well on top of uh, the fields which we are interested in we will only select those which we are interested in while uh, applying substring on top of phone number and ssn let me create this list and then data frame by running these two pieces of codes uh, you can see that data frame is created we should be able to preview the data by saying employees df dot show let me say truncate equal to false we should be able to see the output here let's import the substring function so that it can be used to extract last four digits of phone number as well as ssn i'm interested only in three fields which are nothing but employee id phone number and ssn to display along with last four digits of phone number and last four digits of ssn and hence i am selecting only those three fields here on top of this select i'm using with column to actually generate two new columns they are nothing but phone underscore last four for last four digits of phone number and ssn underscore last four for last four digits of ssn when it comes to phone number it is a variable length field each country's phone number uh, might be different in length because the country code uh, uh, length is different for different countries and hence we will not be able to access last four digits using positive numbers to get last four digits we have to use this approach we have to say substring of call of phone number comma minus four which means starting from fourth character from the end we are trying to get four characters and hence i am saying four here as last four digits of phone number is of type integer we should be able to convert the data type using cast function on top of this uh, substring like this so in this case the derived value will be of type integer similar to this because ssn is a fixed length string either we can uh, access last four digits either from the end or from the beginning in this case i am using from the beginning even last four digits of ssn are of type integer and hence i am casting it to integer using cast function let's run this to see the output in this case i have to import call function as well so let me import call and then let me run this it will take care of giving us the output the way we are looking for you can see the last four digits of phone number as well as ssn you can compare with the original phone number and ssn and see if the values are correct or not to see if the phone underscore last four and ssn underscore last four uh, rough type integer or not we can actually copy this paste it here then we can say print schema it will give us the details about data types of these fields phone underscore last four as well as ssn underscore last four you can see that they are of type integers this is how you should be able to use substring to extract strings from the fixed length strings sometimes we can extract even from the variable length strings but the options are limited typically to extract strings from the variable length strings we use split function but in some cases we can even use substring especially if we want to extract last few characters uh, irrespective of the length of the actual column values